Our bodies contain many elements, but as carbon is the news these days, let's have a look at that one. Carbon is one of the building blocks of life. It's in all plants and all animals, including us. About 15 kilograms of our body mass is carbon. But where did it come from? It was created in the stars. In fact, it takes three star lifetimes to make carbon. And that is almost all of time since the beginning of the universe. But here we are now, walking around, each packed with stardust. Some of the carbon that was originally part of living organisms millions of years ago now forms part of the Earth's crust in the form of coal, oil, limestone, chalk, marble and sparkling diamonds. Life is very much connected with the planet itself. So what happens to carbon in the biosphere? It starts off in the atmosphere. Plants have evolved to use the sun's energy to remove carbon dioxide from the air and break it apart. They use the carbon with water and other elements to grow their structure or store energy as fuel. And they release the oxygen back into the atmosphere as a byproduct. This is the process of photosynthesis. Before there were plants, there was almost no oxygen in Earth's atmosphere. But by pumping oxygen into the air over millions of years, plants have made it possible for oxygen-breathing animals, like us, to evolve. Plants also turn the sun's energy into a form we can eat. The solar energy captured during photosynthesis and stored as fuel is what keeps every animal on the planet alive, including us. To obtain the energy we need to survive and function, we either eat plants directly or eat other animals that have eaten plants themselves. Plants are also rainmakers. They absorb water through their roots and release it as water vapour. And half our medications are made from or derived directly from plants. So plants produce the air we breathe, the food we eat, the water we drink, and the medications that maintain our health. We owe them our very existence. All the carbon in all the trees in all the forests was once in the atmosphere. Now half of the forests that existed before humans started farming have been destroyed, releasing all that carbon back into the atmosphere. We have also been releasing carbon from organisms that lived millions of years ago by burning the oil and coal that they had become. So the level of carbon in the atmosphere is becoming dangerously high. But that's another story. <laughs>